Hello, welcome to another video from Tamarack Creek Bushcraft. In this video, I'm going to go over building a 10 by 12 trapper's cabin off grid in the upper Midwest. This cabin was constructed on some land that we own in the far reaches of the upper Midwest. All the material you'll see in this video, uh, we carried in by hand. And uh, this project took a total of six days while living out of a tent. Here's the building site we chose. Uh, we went up about a month ahead of time, cleared out a bunch of dead spruce and dead white pine. I stacked the good logs that I feel we could use for future building projects out along to the side. Here you can see we started framing the foundation. The cabin itself sits on three treated four by four, 12 foot long. The floor joists are two by four, 10 foot long, treated as well. From here, we went on to sheet the floor with three quarter inch plywood, as you see here. This is also treated. And this gave us our subfloor for the cabin. Here we started constructing the walls. We framed the walls laying on the ground and also sheeted them. Sheeting the walls kept them square as we stood them up and it was also a lot easier to sheet on the ground to keep your sheeting nice and square and straight. Since we had plenty of help to lift the wall, adding the sheeting, making the wall a lot heavier was not a difficult task to get them stood up. We repeated this process until we had all four walls standing. We also framed the window and the door on the ground and cut the sheeting out for these holes as well on the ground. It just made things a lot simpler uh, to make sure they were nice and square and would receive the window and wall easily. After all four walls were framed and stood up, it was time to start the roof. We went with a common rafter design, and by that uh, we put two beams, one on each end in the middle of the building, constructed out of two by fours, three of them put together, and then used a ridge pole across the top, a two by six, 12 foot long, to span the length of the building. The beams are four foot tall, which will allow for a nice loft in the top of the structure. We cut and laid eight foot long rafters attached to that ridge pole every 16 inches on center to give us a nice sturdy roof for the snow load. As you can see we also expanded out one more truss out in front of the building to give us a six inch overhang that will allow to keep water off the front of the building. After all the rafters were laid we sheeted the roof with 7 16 OSB to give us a nice base before we put the steel on the roof. After the roof was sheeted, we first laid down one run of ice and water on the bottom run of the roof. Then after that, we went with a synthetic roof wrap on top of that. We also taped all the seams to ensure uh, no moisture would get through down to the OSB. After all that was tacked down, we started running our purlins uh, every 24 inches on center to give somewhere to fasten our steel roof to. In this picture here, you can see we have the roof all ready for steel. All the purlins are on on both sides, ready to go. I also took this time to put in the window, frame in the door. So the cabin at this point is what you'd call dried in, ready to take weather. Uh, at this point of our week, uh, the forecast was threatening snow, so we wanted to make sure we had the cabin all dried in, ready to go, in vent of a early October blizzard. Okay, here it is, an all framed in, dried in, ready to go cabin. Uh, steel roof is on. Uh, this is as far as we are going to go for the fall. I'm going to work on the inside of the cabin throughout the winter, and finish up uh, putting steel siding on the outside later this winter. And here's where we finished off. We took a Tyvek roof wrap, wrapped the cabin, taped all the seams, 
and made sure the cabin was weather tight, ready for the winter. Uh, we'll return later this winter. Going to finish the inside of the cabin in a knotty pine, as well as finish the trim on the outside of the building. And later into the winter, or early spring, we plan to steel side the cabin as well. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this.